All right, so in this video, we're going to look at uh, brickwork recipes, things like how to convert from square meters to number of brick, uh, how to include sand, cement, brick ties, labor, uh, and generally just a couple of ideas around the best way to handle uh, bricks and uh, recipes within Build Exact. Awesome. So jumping into my brick category. What I'm going to do here is add a new item. And I'm going to say brick. Go straight into the recipe. And I'm going to make this recipe per square meter. <clears throat> As always, I am now going to add the parts that fit into one square meter of this brick wall. So this allows me to do things like cost per brick, where I can say each brick is $1.20 and the number of bricks uh, that fit into a square meter, I'll put as 52. Obviously the price will vary, the number of bricks will vary on the size of the brick you use, uh, but 52 is for a standard brick. and. Um, if you're not sure on quantities like this, either Google it, Google's fantastic, uh, or go ask your brickie. So I'm going to say bricks, uh, labor, and I'm going to do this quite simply, um, just to say that my bricklayer charges me per square anyway. Um, he is 68 per square, and hence one square meter of brick wall equals one square meter of labor for him. So that's super easy. I'm going to say ties, uh, brick ties, five of in every square meter. And they are say, 60 cents each. Again, as always, um, the prices are, that we use in our examples are less important than kind of how we get there. That's the main lesson here. And then we've got things like sand and cement. Now, sand and cement, or generally anything where you're going to use less than a whole item in one square meter or less than a whole item in one lineal meter or another way to say it is you're going to split this across multiple uh, meters once you get into these uh, it gets a bit curlier but the maths is not that hard um, so we'll go through this for examples here i usually put in uh, examples and because i fail to remember things uh, i usually put in the cover so this is me saying that a cube of sand does uh, 20 square and me saying that a bag of cement does 10 square. Again, if you're not sure of this stuff, punch it into Google um, or go ask a bricklayer. One uh, massive benefit of recipes, which I know we've spoken about in other videos, is that this will convert to uh, the number of cubes for me and the number of bags. Don't have to go figure it out later. Uh, it'll come through in my bill of quantities or in my purchasing. So this is probably the number one reason why I think recipes are great, particularly for this style of thing where you're doing a lot of, um, a lot of components in a brick wall. Uh, bag of cement, say eight bucks. Awesome. Now I need to do the fractions here. And cement, uh, sand and cement will both be done the same in that I'll go, hey, the one square meter that I care about for this divided by the cover that this thing can do. And that's just me saying what fraction of this um, cube of sand fits into the wall, into my square meter of wall. So 1 20th. And if you ever want to cheat um, to see if you've got this right, great little um, mental exercise here is if you go, hey, 20 square of cover per cube, and I tinker with this guy down here to say, well, actually, my whole wall is 20 square, it should say you need one cube of sand because obviously it's 20, cube, uh, 20 square per cube. So if you ever want to double check yourself, grab whatever the cover is, throw it in here, and it should say one. And if it doesn't, then you've done something a bit funky. I'll do the exact same thing for cement. One divided by 10, which is the cover for the bag. 
and equals, and I'll do the little check here. 10 square meters of wall gives me a bag or half a cube of sand, beautiful. And I'm gonna very quickly do the takeoff for this. Uh, it won't be super in depth. Um, I am probably gonna miss walls here. There, there, there. There, there, there. As always, you can hit escape to undo takeoffs like I just did. Minus out some windows. Like so. Save and accept, and that gives me uh, 33, well, basically 3,400 bricks, uh, 65 square meters of labor, um, 326 tires, three and basically three and a quarter um, of sand, six and a half bags of cement. And as I've mentioned in other recipe videos, personally, I find it better if I'm going to add wastage, which I probably will, to add it at the measurement level, which in turn bumps up um, a lot of these. And that means that, uh, then that if, if I have to round stuff down a fraction, it's not a big deal. But in most cases, I'll round up anyway when I go to, to order these things. Awesome. Hope that makes sense and uh, adds some value for you. If you have any questions, as always, uh, do let us know. Thanks a lot.